Hey guys, what's up? It's the King here, and today I'm going to be talking about Rockstar Rumors. And before we get started, I'm going to ask you to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, all your friends, you guys enjoy this video in the future. Anyways, let's get right into it. So Take 2 announces it's working on three new remakes or remasters. And this article is from NME. I'm gonna be I'm gonna put it in the description so you guys can read it for yourself. I'm gonna read some word by word, I'm gonna skim it, and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. So investor presentation by Take Two Interactive has revealed that the company is working on three unannounced iterations of previously released titles. Now, Take Two, uh, they own a bunch of companies, uh gaming companies specifically. Um, I don't know a lot of them, but I only know pretty much two of them. Uh, 2k which made uh, games like 2k 20 and all that stuff and the mafia series and then the other one obviously rockstar games where they made you know gta red dead all that good stuff um first spotted by pc gamer the news comes on top of the existing announcement that the company is already working on three or other remakes upgrades or remasters that are set for release next year which means that there will be six remasters of some sort in the works from the firm soon now if these are all straight from rockstar games that means we will be seeing gta 3 remake gta vice city remake gta um san andreas remake gta vice city stories and liberty stories and maybe four and everything that came with four that is a stretch because obviously i think they have better things to do than remake a bunch of old games i feel like that they're gonna remake I, I don't know, I feel, like, I feel like they're going to remake definitely GTA of some sort. That's just my opinion. But I'm not sure. Six? I have no idea. That's that's huge. <laughs> it's already been known that Rockstar Games will release GTA 5, expanded and enhanced for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, as well as the standalone version of GTA Online on November 11th. Alongside that, Kerbal Space program will be released current generation. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. What we don't know is that the remaining three or masters or remakes could be. Oh, so I'm, I'm guessing that those three are going to be the remakes for. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, anyways, could be. There have been plenty of rumors that a remake of GTA 3 and possibly GTA Vice City and GTA San Andreas could be in the works, but that is honest, obviously unconfirmed. Now, if you guys remember, I made a video back in, I think, March where. Uh, Rockstar put in the newswire they have a surprise for us coming in 20 and later this year for the 20th anniversary for GTA 3. I honestly do think this is going to be for GTA 3 a remaster or remake hopefully remake because if you remember last year I was kind of fanboying on the Mafia the Fame Edition and I'm sorry I didn't record any videos for that. I just wanted to take it in myself. I kind of I do regret not showing you guys that but anyways um so I think that definitely they will be probably doing something uh, for that because um because the if you remember gta no mafia the fan edition was a make or break for the mafia series because mafia 3 was heavily rushed and put out way too early and and they were like all right so mafia the fan edition could be the make or break and it made it it made the mafia series the mafia series is definitely going somewhere because of that game um and i think gta 3 will definitely uh, probably be remade this year um, it will severely disappoint me if they don't remake it, but if they do, that would be pretty awesome. So anyways, back to the article. One thing that weighs in the rumors favor of that is that a fan project that was reverse engineering GTA 3 and Vice City was targeted by a Digital Millennium Copyright Act, DMCA, takedown earlier this year, which fueled speculation that a remake was coming. So I really don't know what that means, but I think someone made like a HD Universe GTA 3 and Vice City and it was taken down by the DMCA. Uh, since then, Take Two Interactive has claimed it's pretty bleh, sorry, pretty flexible on removing mods and games in it for its games, providing that mods don't affect the economy. So I think that definitely because of this right here, them getting rid of these GTA 3 remake type things, um, it will affect the economy once it comes out. So they're trying to fix it right now. I'm gonna pause that i'm not gonna watch that uh it has also been well known that gta 6 is a long way off obviously because take two is pushing an aggressive release schedule elsewhere for plans for a new franchise and already right into that that's for 2k so yes gta 6 is definitely not going to be here for a couple years which is sad but 
hopefully they do make uh San Andreas and all that because the thing is uh since GT Online is so popular and so huge today um you know the old games don't really get as much love as they used to um San Andreas Vice City 3 and San Andreas were the original trilogy yes I know there were GTA 2 London all that stuff but GTA uh San Andreas Vice City and 3 were the original trilogy the PS2 trilogy and if they remade that I think a lot of people Especially people like more campaign players like myself will be really happy because honestly though like those games deserve a lot more love and I'm not complaining about the graphics or anything you know like the graphics still hold up today um especially for the PC version I do recommend uh if you want to play San Andreas Vice City or 3 just get the PC version but if you don't it's your decision but anyways I do I do recommend getting that because it's it's more fun in my opinion it's more flexible <laughs> but anyways Sorry, I'm a little tired right now. But I do think that this will definitely uh, give a lot of players, including myself, and new players that don't know of the older GTA games, um, something new, something that they could definitely have fun with. And I think this would help Rockstar gain a lot of support because let's be real here. Uh, from GTA 4 to GTA 5, they had a game coming out every year. Uh, GTA 4 was released in 2008 and 2009 they had uh, I think Chinatown Wars and the two DLCs 2010 they had um what was it Red Dead Redemption I can't believe I forgot that and I think that year or the next year was uh the Undead Nightmare and then the next year after then 2011 LA Noir 2012 Max Payne and 2013 GTA 5 and then skip five years I think I think it's five years now Red Dead Redemption and now it's 2021 and we haven't gotten another game so, yes, I do think that they should definitely re remaster or remake, hopefully remake the original trilogy because it would just be something that um, players would get into. Um, it would show that, show a lot of new players because let's be real here. People don't understand that graphics do not mean anything. Yes, we want a game to look good, but like when it really comes down to it, gameplay and story is really where it's at. So, yes, that's where I'm going to leave it there. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys think about this. I do personally think that this is going to be a remaster or remake for the original trilogy of GTA. But, who knows. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope for a remake or remaster, hopefully remake, of the original GTA trilogy. But who knows? So anyways guys, before I leave, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video, all your friends guys enjoy this video in the future, hit the post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Bye.